Everybody, my name's Russ. What's up, everybody? My name's Riley. <laughs> I can't say it. What's up, everybody? This is Dexter. But you can't clearly say it. All right. Russ so, is uh, we're gonna work on this printer, mm -hmm. and the goal for the day is just see if it moves on its own with the power supply, mm -hmm. and we're gonna just see if the computer here. This is my old old laptop, and we're just gonna see if it works. Connecting to this guy, see if we can power it up and move some things around. And then we're going to try heating the bed, mm -hmm. and we'll try heating the nozzles. And that's my goal for today. That's a lot of work to do, actually, because we don't have much time today. It's pretty late already. Okay? Yep. You ready to get started? Yeah! Wow. I'm going to fly off to my bed. Should I cross this? Probably not. Because nope. then you would just hammer it. And bust it. I wouldn't trust it. No? <laughs> hey, we're gonna bust it, trust it. You know, you know where can we, where can we smash a car? Like a toy car? What? From a car. A car from a car. I get it. Like, did you, like, like you smash a car, but. Should we trust this? A car. Um, no, I'm not. Uh huh. No, no. I'm gonna do it anyway. I think we can. What? I'm gonna set the computer just like this, so you guys can see it, right? That's just, I, yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, and then we can set the printer here. We can set the other stuff over there. Like that. We need to plug this in somewhere. Wait, on the bottom. That's a short cord. Wow, wow. How we need, short? We need to find a longer cord maybe for the moment. Okay, so we should check the wiring just before we plug it in, right? Yeah! Because we need to do that first. Alright, I'm going to stand it on its side so we can see it. On the back? I'm going to put it like this. It should be okay. It's pretty sturdy. We need to get this cord out. And we need to get the spider web out. We need to get the spider web out. We need to just kind of look at the wiring. We need to just look this over real quick before we power it on, okay? Yeah, yeah because then I'll be bad. Alright, we need to take this wiring think you can get this cord out of here without ripping it out? Um, Is it supposed to come out the back? Maybe it's supposed to come out the side. I would come out See, the it's right here? Yeah. Oh. I think that's just that one. Oh, just pull it. Pull Maybe it. you can work that out? Yeah. You have to do one at a time. Do one cord at a time. Right, that's just pulling it in. Take your time. You both can get it. Oh wow, that's really kind of impossible. To I think see. actually that one can stay there, Riley. This one? Yep, it's a little late now. We really need to pull the other one out, but we can feed it back through there. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you just pull it out of my Go eyes. this way. Here, Dexter. Oh. Pull it out. Okay, now we need to put it back. You see this little thing right there? Yep. We gotta plug mm -hmm. this in there. And I kinda like it in there so that we can pull this out. Right um, there. Ah. there. I okay. knew it. Now we gotta be careful not oh, to like, pull this out. Pull that in? Oh. Because it will rip it out of there, you know? Yeah. But at least it's in there. And then we can plug this in the computer. Yep. Do you guys see any wires that are not plugged into anything? Like this. What is this? I don't know. It's Wait. a. It's a. It says it goes to thermal B. But it's been heat Get shrink. Fly. And then this is four wires here. Mm -hmm. And it says motor A. So that must go to the extruder motor up here. There's a little spider. So I think I only know. only one of them. Riley, there's a, two drivers on here. I think only one of them works, so we'll have to re, we'll have to figure out where the wires go, mm -hmm. which I have no idea at this point. And there's a probe connector board there, so everything looks plugged in, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. At least plugged in. 
Ouch. Where do these go? Oh, here. Yep. I maybe, can perfectly see. Maybe we see. can unwrap this. Can you unwrap this, Dexter? That's how. Start it here. I can help. Wow, that's hard. There. Unwrap it a little bit. We need to look at the wires. Now, you see these? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See these wires right here? Yep. yep. There's three of them. See how they were a little bit unplugged? Mm -hmm. So we just need to make sure. And here's a motor wire. Mm -hmm. So I wonder, you know what it is? What? Um, this is only being used for one of the extruder motors. And then the other extruder motor probably gets plugged into the board. And so one's on the board and one's on here. So really you could put three on this system. Yeah. Because this is a dual board. So that's my guess. So it looks all like it's connected, right? Yep. Okay, wrap that back on there, Dexter. I'm going to. Oh, let the Riley do it then. Make it pretty. I did it. You got it? This is tiny. It's all right. Pretty. Good job. Let's flip it back over. You got to be gentle when we flip it so we don't... Okay. Yeah. Okay, so here's the cord. Okay. okay, we want to plug this in the computer. I think there's a plug on the side. Don't knock the laptop off. So, nope. No. In the back. Where? See them right there? One? Yep. There you go. Alright, so it probably won't do anything until we power it on. Yep. So now we need to hook up the power supply. And I can do, and I can take off the web with my finger. Oh, easy. That's why the power supply. Okay. I don't want it. Bring it over here. We gotta figure out how to plug it in. Dexter, let's look at this. Okay, these all are power connectors. Okay. I like this one. Now, if I remember right, if I saw this right. Yeah. Oh look, they're all different shapes. I don't remember, yeah, I think we have to power this board, possibly, maybe not. See this power connector right here? Mm-hmm, yeah. We might have to plug that in. No, come on in. But we're not going to worry about that right now, we're just going to worry about the back. So you see on this one, you see this little wire? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. That's to jumper the power supply on. So we could add a switch here to turn it on and off if we want. We may do that. But right now we just gotta figure out how to plug this in, so Local you hold that. Let's uh, let's look at the back of this thing. Can I get the webs? Did you already? No. Look in America. Okay, look. See, this is where we plug it in at. Do you see any plugs on there that'll fit on here? I think I saw one before. Not that one. Wait, I think this one. Think that one? Yeah, but we don't know what one. I don't think it matters because see, look at the see the little notches in there. Mm -hmm. And these are the the same, and the colors are the same. So let's just find the longest one. Yeah. This one's pretty long. Untangle this. And can I plug a one in? Okay, go ahead. See if you can get that in. Out. You uh, see how it fits? And there's only one way. Okay, push it in hard. Okay, do it. All right, let me push it even harder. There we go. Okay, now what about the other one? Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Are you farting? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> like father, like son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think that one goes. Yeah. See any that fit that? Nope. I wonder if that's a switch. Oh, wait, bang. This doesn't. That one? All right, let's oh, yeah, that wait one before you plug it in. Let's just see where those wires go. Yep, that looks like the same colors, right? Oh, yeah. That look like the same colors as that one? What colors are they? Um, yeah, black and yellow. Okay, so that fits on that plug. And red, and red. Okay, so go ahead and plug that one in. Yeah, we think it, oh, oh, no. Oh no, that that thing's loose. It's loose. It's loose? Yeah. What are we gonna do about that? 
um, hot glue back in. That's a good idea. Good. Right now, let's see if we can get it plugged in. Can you get it plugged in? Push it hard, you got it? Yep. I think it's in, right? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, it's definitely it looks. In. Hold on, let me push it back out. Let me push it back out. And I'll hold it while you push it in. Okay. Is this one yet? Yeah. Ooh, this is heavy. Okay. We may need to glue that, right? Oh, yeah. Hot glue it. There it went. Now it's in. Wait, does that look like the right pattern? I think it's right. Okay, you hold this. I'm going to turn the whole thing. Okay. Well, we got that plugged in. We got that plugged in. Now what? Mm. We got to plug the power supply in. Yep. Beep. You, see, you think I can get that way? Sure, Dixie, but I need to find a longer cord. Oh, yeah, there's a spider in it. You need a longer coal. 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 Is this longer? Oh yeah, that's yeah. The, that's what we need. Just a little bit. Don't forget to take the tape off. Oh yeah, we'll have to do that. I just want to see if everything moves. That's our goal for today. See if we can connect to it and move things. I'm going to plug it in. Are you ready? Yippee! Alright. Oh man. Here we go. I'm what happened? This. Hmm, Maybe we have to turn the power switch on. Right there. You want to try it? Nothing. Nothing? I feel air. You feel air? Fan's running. That means it's probably on. Okay. Don't put your finger in there. That might be electricity in there, so you gotta be careful. Oh yeah, there is. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. You tell me if there's lights on down there. Are there any lights on? Yep, yep. There's All right. two. All right, that means we got power. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. It says, found new hardware. Would you like to install it? Yeah. And we're gonna hit yes. That's nice. Teensy USB serial. I don't know if I have the Teensy software on here, but I have it on my other one. So if we can't, f if we don't have it right now, we'll have to download it. Huh? Yep. Oh, found it. Yeah. Oh yeah. We found Continue it. anyway. We are using XP on this computer, Windows XP, which is fine. So it's installing the drivers. The drivers allow for me to connect from this piece of hardware to that piece of hardware. Okay. All right. Finish. Okay, now now we have to open up the software. Okay? And we're going to use we're going to use um well, let's let's use repeater 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 host just to see if we can connect to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, look, we're connected um it's trying to import something. But look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to printer. Uh -huh. um, um, so this is day one, working on the printer. This is day one. That is correct. Day one, gonna, day two, day I was going to say that. We, we need to make sure we do day one, day two. So there, I'm glad you said it. Day one, day, day two, two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight, day nine, day ten. Day eleven, day twelve. Okay, look. We have to go into the settings and we have to connect. I can't see. You're blocking the whole way. Here, it's all right. Stand right there. Okay. Now I have no idea. There's not requesting any fives. I have no idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to the t what's called the task manager. And I'm gonna find out where it's connected. We gotta do what? Gotta get this a new one. Oh yeah. Start it. Well, we're just gonna see if it heats up. See the heater, the heater, and the thermistor is all right here on this little Teflon piece. Okay, look, we're gonna go to the calm settings, communication settings. Mhm. Mm okay. Right there it says Teensy USB serial. Calm. What's that number? 29. That's right. 29. So now we can go back to here. 
and we can select 29. See? Now we don't know what the baud rate is, so we're just going to hit apply. And we're going to hit OK. And we're going to try to hit this connect button up here. It probably won't connect. Oh! Okay, it connected. Oh, that's nice. It says uh, COM port 26 does not exist. Something happened. Oh, the model loaded. Okay, it says. Uh, okay, so we've connected to it. Okay, right here it says no signal start detected, forcing start. Firmware name Marlin version 1, Sprinter slash GRBL mashup for Gen 6. Okay, Gen 6 is the board type, or the firmware, probably. I don't know which one at this point. Okay, and here it says firmware. Printerbot.com, protocol version 1, machine type, printer bot, extruder count 3. So it knows exactly what it is, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, um, now we just need to try to um, see if we can move the machine, okay? Uh-huh. These are not a lemon tree. Alright, stand on. You can still see, okay? Alright, now look. We're going to go up here to manual control, alright, and we're going to do a homing function and see what happens. Um, I have no idea where the homing switches are on this thing. I guess this probe is the home switch. So here's the thing, we're going to try to move it. If anything goes wrong, then you're going to flip this switch right here. Okay. If something goes silly, you're going to flip the switch. Okay. And be careful because this might move and uh, hit you in the face. So, ready? We're going to hit this home button. Are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope this works. Oh, yay! <laughs> Look at that! Now that! That's is, exciting! That is cool. It goes slower. Yeah, these rods are a little bent, probably in shipping. It might not affect it too much. It hits. Oh, so See how the light came on? Uh -huh. That's how it knew where it was. Hmm. So now we can control the whole thing right here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna hit this Z. Okay, good. You got your hand on there. Okay, I'm gonna hit this Z. Uh, this is the Z. Okay, so look, this is Z, and one of these is X, and one of these is Y. So it's it's three stand, dimensional. Stand back, Dex. He's fine. So it's three dimensional. So it's X, Y, and Z. Mm. Okay, which one's Z? Mm, Z? Yep. This one. Okay. Up and down. And then this is X or Y. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure that out. But just remember this is Z. I'm going to try to move this gantry up and down. Okay. It's called a gantry the way this is set up. Ready? Yeah. And try it again? Yeah. And I'm going to keep moving it up. Can get the tape? Okay, now we need to find out which one is X and which one is Y. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do, see how if I move this, it can change it. So this is negative 10. And I'm going to hit this arrow. I think we can use these arrows as well, but we'll just try this for now. You ready? Yeah. Make sure nothing goes wrong. Oh, didn't go anywhere. Let's try it forward. There we go. Now we're going to go backwards again. Okay, it won't go past this point for whatever reason. So let's try the other way. I still don't know if it's X or Y. Uh, okay, so this is the Y. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the X. And what's this one? Y and Z. The Z. So this is y so x is this way y is this way and z is up and down okay okay so i'm gonna home it again you ready yep Three. it's gonna bring it down and see when this light hits this is a this is a um proximity sensor it's sensing the aluminum and so when it gets close to the aluminum it'll it'll stop and that's how it knows it's in the right spot Another see? Yeah. Now if I hit home again, which I'm going to try, let's see what happens. Let's just see how, what happens. You ready? Yeah. Uh, 
of this bed. So look at that. It moves. We have successfully almost accomplished our task. What's the last thing we wanted to do? Mm, print something. No, we can't print anything. We haven't even had a nozzle on that side yet. We wanted to test the heating bed and the two hot ends. We want to make sure they get hot. Okay. Because then we know what we need to fix next. Yep. We know it moves. Now we need to test that. So I'll, to do that, I'm going to bring this up really high, okay? Okay. Very high? Uh, pretty high. Bring that like up to here. Whee! I wonder what kind of rods those are. They look like threaded rods of some kind. See that moving? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to fix that, huh? Oh yeah, that was really. Looks like it's missing a screw. You see that? Let me show it. Let me show the camera. Okay, so we already noticed. We noticed the first problem. Can you show us what it is? This has no screw in it. It has no screw in it. So when I hit this, watch what happens. So what are we gonna do about that? We're probably gonna. We're gonna fix that, right? Yep. You have to fix that. Oh, one. we need to fix that. Yep. We're gonna Wait, have to. This one? We're gonna have to look the whole thing over and make sure there's no screws missing and stuff. Wait. Thank you. On, I think. I think you. I think the screw came out in the box. Mm, maybe. Well, we can look in the bottom. Oh yeah, that is definitely so sticky. That looks like it's glued. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, you know why the tape looks like that? Why? Because it's been on here for probably five years or four years or so. Or a hundred two thousand years. <laughs> so we we can go back and look and find out. Wow. Uh, we can go find out when the uh, a Marlin version one was made, and then we'll know. It's pretty bad, huh? Sticky. I know. We'll have to clean that off. Okay, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go up a little higher. Okay, what do you want to try first, the bed or the nozzle? Um, bed. Nozzle. The nozzle? I, I think let's do the nozzle because I want to do this last because when it gets hot, I don't want you to touch it. See how it says, what's that say? Hot. Surf. Uh huh. Compound mm. word. Fact. No, say it. Ah. Oh, uh, that's a C. Ack. No, that's C E. S. S. Try it again. S. Yeah. Fast. This thing. That's a jaw. No, that's a face. Oh, face. So it says what? Hot. No. Yeah. S. Uh, face. Surface. Surface. Oh. Sorry. Like the surface. Hot surface. Don't Never. touch. That's right. Do not touch. That's right. Do not touch. Okay. So, so we're going to try these first. Did you fart again? It sometimes smells like a skunk. You did, didn't you? It's a skunk. It stinks. It smells like a skunk. I don't know what it is. Whoops. Okay. So now, look, to control this, we have temperatures. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... So here's extruder. We've only got one extruder. Uh, Alright, it's set to... Uh, okay, look, if we go over here, we can see the... We okay. can see the temperatures. Okay? Output of bed, output of extruder, average temperature, target temperatures, show bed, show extruder. I don't know if we're seeing both nozzles yet, but we won't worry about that, because we probably have to configure that in here. But for now, let's go ahead and try turning on a nozzle at 200. Oh, okay. So when we when we click this, it'll turn it on. You see how it's got a mark in it? Yeah. That means it's off. Oh. See that says fans? Yeah. Okay, there are two fans back here. Did you see them? No. Okay, let's turn it around so you can see them or go over there. See the two fans? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going to try turn. stay there. I'm going to try turning them on. Okay, and you tell me if they turn on or not. Oh, it don't. You ready? Yep. Here we go. Yep, both of them are on. They are? They're very quiet. 
Don't put your finger in. I'm not. Oh, now Are they working, Dexter? Yep, Let they're Dexter working see. all right. Let Dexter see it. See, come over here. Can you see it? They're working all right. Oh, yeah. Okay, now right. I'm going to turn them back off. Did they go off? Yes. Yep. Okay, so the fan works. We can mark that off our list. Ding! All right, come back over here. All right, Dexter, yeah, that's fine. Okay, now we're going to test the hot end. Are you ready? Yep. Now... It's supposed to drip? It's supposed to be on. Now, if we look at our chart, you see our chart? Yeah. Okay, and you see the red line? The red line is extruder, so therefore it's supposed to be getting hot. Don't touch it now. And this green line shows you what it's supposed to be at. Okay? So now we need to wait. We need to find out which one's heating up. How do you know which one is? I'm going to put the back of my hand. See the back of my hand? I'm just going to feel it. But I'm not going to touch it. I'm just getting close. But it's not hot enough yet, so we'll wait a minute. Yeah. And I'm going to turn the fans back on. So that we blow air across there. They're on. Because we want to keep it cool. They're very loud. I don't know if we need the fans for the extruders. See yeah. the graph moving? Oh, yeah. It's moving you see it moving? Yeah, it's moving. It is. Oh, no. What is that? Sounds, that's a fan? Sounds terrible, doesn't it? That's a fan. Why is that the thing? What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Is that something we should look at? Turn off the I can not so. Oh, it's just kind of loose. Oh, See that? I think it's just vibrating. You try it. Don't touch the nozzle, it's hot under there. See? That's <laughs> fine. Okay, I'm going to turn the fans back off. Alright, now we don't have to worry about that. We're just worried about the nozzle. We want to make sure it gets hot. Don't make sure you don't break it. So, okay. I like to use the back of my hand. I can feel the heat without touching it. I wouldn't touch it, it will burn your fingers. Burn so like bad. That. Like what? There's no markings of hot. We need to put a label on here that says caution, hot. Right? Mm, that's just Okay, it looks like the, 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 the nozzle is getting hot, you see? Mm -hmm. and, and you see the plastic coming out? Oh yeah, uh-huh. So that means that one's getting hot. Yep, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off and let it cool down. So there you go. So we need to fix this, this missing screws. We know that the nozzle's working. We need to fix that one. Yeah. So, um... We didn't test the bed yet. We'll go ahead and turn that on. Okay, so don't don't touch it. I'm going to turn it on and we'll, we'll see if the temperature changes. But in the meantime, um, we made a successful day. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So did we have a successful day? Yep. Yeah. We tested everything we needed to for today. We moved it around. We heated up the extruder. And we're heating the bed right now. I don't feel anything coming off of it yet. Do you? Nope. Still cold, but we'll wait a while because it'll probably take some time to heat up. It's a big piece of aluminum. Yeah. I got it on a low temperature so it won't hurt your fingers, but remember, don't touch it. So the thing moves. Everything looks good. Yeah. All right, so what day is it on this project? Day one. one. This is actually day two if you count the unboxing as day one. Yeah. yeah. But we're going to count from zero, so this can be day one, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so say goodbye to everybody. Bye. And we'll see you on the next round. Let us know what you think about this video, right? Yeah. All right. Uh... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's pack this thing up. We need to bring it in. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go sit on the chair. All right. It's a little warm. Oh, that stuff. Well, at least we can see it in some stuff. Good job, everybody. Yep. We did it. You're still videotaping? Yes. We successfully... Made our goal. Now we got to go to bed. Yep. Wait. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Why not? That was weird. Okay. Bye, Dexter. I'm coming in after you. Bye bye. All right. So I'm gonna 
play with this a little bit longer and just configure the extra extruder and we'll make sure it works or don't work. Other than that, everything functions, so very well. I didn't test the extruder motors yet, but I'm sure they're happy. So here's what the cool part of this is. I am allowing my YouTube subscribers to be a part of this by picking the school of which this goes to. And to do that, go down to the links in the description and fill out the form. It's like three little things about you, what you want to do with it, and your name and how to get a hold of you. And my kids and me and the other three that aren't in this room right now are going to fix this up, make it fully functional, and then you guys are going to pick the school that it goes to. Isn't that exciting? Yeah!